Namaste and welcome back to the Hypospadia series. As per a lot of requests that I have been getting, I am going to now post the videos on the individual techniques and we will start with the magpie approach. Now this technique is used for the distal most cases of hypospadias. M stands for meatal, advancement, glans, plasti, incorporated. Now for this technique, the first thing that has to be done is that a stay suture is taken at the distal most uh, tip of the glands. Now the first step is to do the degloving of the penile shaft by a subcoronal circumferential incision. So this also helps to release the cordy as well. Now consider the fact that the current opening of the urethra is at the more proximal position. So we have the remnant urethral plate over here and the meatal opening has to be advanced distally. So for this technique a vertical dissection is done in the urethral plate in the midline and this is known as the Henke Mikulis incision or the dissection. Now the point to be noted here is that the dissection that we have done is longitudinal but the closure that is done is transverse so that the meatus will be advanced from a proximal to a distal most position. Once this advancement has been done, a stay suture is taken at the ventral most tip of the current or the new urethral uh, opening and so that the glands which is below it has to be dissected. Now the glandular wings that are formed over here are trimmed on the edges and the excess tissue is removed so that you can see the glands mesenchyme below it which has to be approximated. Now this forms the part of the glands plasty. So here the stay suture has been taken, the urethra has been attempted, it's advanced more distally and the glands has been repaired from within. These are mainly done by vicral sutures, some prefer PDS as well. So once this has been closed or sutured together, this gives a more conical shape to the glands. After that the overlying incisions are closed so that the final picture that you will get will be of an inverted T with the urethral meatus at the tip of the glands which is the desirable position. Now it can be a little confusing to understand this so I will give an example from here. So consider this as the glands. So this would be the current opening of the urethral meatus and this is the tip of the glands where we want to advance it. This midline portion is the urethral plate. So this has to be dissected out completely. So it is dissected with the scissors. And now the suturing is done in such a manner that this longitudinal dissection starts to become a transverse one like this. And then stay sutures are taken at the ventral most part of the urethral meatus and it is held um, under traction. And this will give a more conical shape so the closure is done. Now imagine that this is the part of the glands wings and they have to be trimmed on the edges and the glands mesenchyme which will be underneath has to be approximated. So these will be brought closer. I know that is, does not look like the ideal um, position but this is the idea of it and now they are closed in the midline and you have further uh, incision which is distally and the inverted T closure which happens here. So once you understand the concept that it is basically the longitudinal urethral meatus which is dissected and pulled up and closed in a transverse manner it is much more simpler to understand this procedure which is known as the magpie technique which is used for the distal cases of hypospadias.